So you've had a, you've read a few DIYs, you've done your research, and you've figured out that you need a new uh, front wheel bearing on an E46 or any other car that basically that uses a press-on type wheel bearing, and you're like, oh, I can do that. So you take your car apart, you've got your brakes off, you've got everything off, you got the bearing off, and you're like, oh, I'm almost done. And then you realize the inner race, the bearing is stuck tightly on the spindle. So now you're frustrated, you're cursing, and you just want it to be over with. So no fear, it's not as hard as it looks. Although there's plenty of people who use pullers and stuff, a lot of platforms like the E46, there's stuff in the way, so you really can't do that. And one quick dirty trick that I have found is to cut it off using a Dremel. So what we're going to do today is cut most of the uh, inner race off the spindle with a Dremel. And then to finally break it free, we're going to use a punch and a large hammer. So let's get to it. So today, for the front wheel bearing inner race job, what you're going to need is a Dremel with a metal easy cut wheel. That's my favorite kind. The little kind that use this is the easy cut, so it's got a, uh, a quick release sort of thing on it. It's a lot better than the kind that use a little screw. Those break all the time. I go through like twice as many discs using those at least. You're gonna need a little punch that has an edge on it and a big old hammer. Here's the front spindle. This is the um, the piece that you don't want to damage. This is the front inner. Um, this is the inner race, the wheel bearing that you uh, want to remove. So what we're gonna do is try to cut most of the way through this a little bit at a time without damaging the spindle. And then use a punch to split it, and then it'll come off easily. All right, so we're ready to go. And so what we're gonna do first is, just so you guys know, we're not gonna put the Dremel in at this angle. You're gonna cut it at, a, at an angle here because here you're just gonna hit stuff. You're not gonna get all the way into the inner race. You're gonna go in at an angle this way and cut diagonally across the inner race. So here we go. As you can see, we've got a cut almost all the way through. Looks like we have a little bit more left to do on the top side, but uh, I'll hit that one more time and we'll try hammering it. Don't worry about this, you're gonna fuck it up in the process anyway, so. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything anyway, it's fine. It's just a little dust guard and a little slice like that won't do anything. Now you take your punch here. Get after it. Alright, like I said, a little bit at a time, we're going to get back after it, cut a little bit more, and we're just going a little bit at a time so we don't damage the spindle. Alright, so we just cut some more, fast forward, a little bit of, oop, crack it off, so now we got a slit, we can just pull this puppy off. Maybe with the help of some tool. Bam. So what we have here is it's cut mostly through. And when you smack it, it cracks it and allows it to be removed. There's a hairline crack through here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. But it just kind of fractures it and allows it for its removal. As you can see here, no marks. The spindle is perfectly fine and ready for reinstallation. Good to go. That's how you do it. The rest is cake. You'll be on the road in no time.